Hey everyone, it's your 3D CG guru, Nathaniel Albright, and I just am back to finally getting around to recording some Cascader videos for this channel and having some fun animating at the same time. And I thought I'd do a real quick video on one of the new features to Cascader starting in 2023.2, which is their trajectory mode now has the ability to look at trajectories relative to a pivot point and to also lock that um, pivot point. That's really awesome when our characters are moving through space, but we still kind of want to see the arcs of the motion relative to the body itself. So, you know, when you're doing like a run in place or something, those trajectories give you a really nice kind of arc shape. But when you're moving through space, you don't normally get that. In the past, before I had the relative to pivot option, I would probably switch the trajectory tools over to showing the uh, rotation uh, vectors of a given point. But I don't feel like I really even have to do that anymore. So I'm going to just show you uh, this animation I'm kind of working on and I'm getting to the end of this. And I'm just trying to refine some of the things that are standing out as a little weird to me. So I'll go ahead and hit uh, play so you guys can kind of see the animation. I'll talk about a few things that are standing out. So the character's just finished coming to uh, a punch and he's coming back up from the ground and going to do one last kind of swipe. And a few things that kind of stand out to me is if you look at the head, there's an odd little kind of wobble to the head itself. Uh, the rest of the body has a little bit of jiggle as he's coming to a settle, which I kind of actually like, but that head wobble, I don't like. I really want the head to feel nice and locked into, you know, whatever he's looking at. There's also something kind of odd happening here in the uh, hip or kind of pelvis area. So let's just take a look at a few of these. I'll fix the uh, hip area first because it it's not related to the relative pivot mode, but we'll use the relative pivot mode to fix the head wobble. So, uh, you know, one thing here that I really love with Cascader is that you're not spending all your time in the graph editor. You get to just directly work in the viewport and just focus on poses. So one thing for me is I feel like um, this pose here as he's coming up, I just feel like I could take these points and maybe make it a little stronger like here. And... Notice here this character's coming down and he's going to really kind of be putting his weight on his right leg. And if we look at the angle between this point uh, and this point, essentially kind of the the bar going through the hips, you know, through the hips and to the center of the, the body here, just watch this kind of line uh, there. So we, he kind of plants and then he comes down and uh, this point here actually kind of goes up. And I, I don't really want that. I want I want the change of angle here between the left and right hip so that the left hip is, or the left leg is lower to the ground. But what I don't like here is that I really want it feeling like as he comes down, this acts as a kind of pivot point and this lowers down relative to it. So this right now though, it kind of feels like as he's coming down, he suddenly lifts his hip on the screen left or his right leg. So what I'm going to do here as just a kind of quick fix here, is I'm going to look at uh, the height of this point in space right here on frame 65, and then I'm going to go back to the previous frame and just kind of make sure that that point is as high as that. So I'm just going to use the Alt, or sorry, the Shift A and D to kind of jump back between those two frames. So here on um, 61, I'm going to hit one on my keyboard, and I uh, bound that. I kind of like one to always be like the upper body excluding the legs. So I'm kind of targeting this point right here. So I'm going to take that. I'm just going to lift it up a little bit on this frame. And now when I kind of look at this, maybe I can go a little bit higher. Um, now it feels like that leg, this point in space is locked. And then the weight is coming down uh, onto uh, this leg. So the weight's coming down. So I, I kind of like that. That's one small kind of refinement. All right, let's actually get to the head wobble because that was what inspired me to, to hit record to begin with. So like I said, we have this he head wobble happening here. And to fix that, I'm going to go into trajectory mode and I'll go ahead and enable the trajectories for this. And I'm going to just select a range where I think the wobble starts to happen. So, you know, we'll just say 51 and to about here. And you can hit the backspace key to lock the frame range at which you want to start to tweak the trajectory. So this is the, the motion of that path, but I really can't gauge how that's really impacting the rock of the head until I actually go and I right click 
uh, on the head, and I can say uh, relative to pivot. So now I actually start to see how this wobble is actually happening. So it's coming around here, it's going back, over, and then in. And so there I actually have my, my wobble. Now if I click away, even if I like lock this, if I click away, I lose that relative path. So what I need to do is when I go ahead and say uh, relative to pivot, I want to fix that pivot. So even when I click away and change my pivot point, it's going to stay locked. And now I can go in here and I can kind of fix this this little wave pattern that I have here. So on this key, I'm going to go ahead and I want to just kind of probably pull this to the left. Now, when I do that right now, technically I can move my entire body around and I don't want this refinement to mess with anything below the head. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to hit R to lock that head. So now I can go in here and I can just kind of tweak this out a little bit and just smooth this out. I can go to this uh, frame here and then I'm going to do something kind of like this. Okay, so now we get a nice smooth blend going into here. One thing I've started to kind of do in my animations, if I really want to make an animation kind of come to a smooth stop, is I'll do kind of a mixture of a viscous bezier, and then I'll kind of finally take that into like a clamped or like a linear uh, motion there towards the end. So that's why we're getting those slightly different uh, color combinations on the trajectory curve. And then again, I can kind of pull this out just to get that arc a little a little smoother. But really for this control, it's, that, it's about that left or right. So let's go ahead and go from the front view here and see how that looks now. And let me just pull back a little bit and we'll hide the trajectories. Okay, so it's looking smoother, but it's still not quite right. There's still something that's happening that, that's a little feels like a little bit of a wobble to it. And that's going to actually be relative to uh, this controller. So I want to do the same thing with this controller. I want to go ahead and uh, see those trajectories uh, relative to this pivot point. And I'll go ahead and lock that. And then for this one, I'll actually look from kind of the side view. And let's ch check the front as well. So it's dipping down uh, pretty sharp here. So I'm just going to take that point and kind of uh, pull it up to kind of smooth this. And then I'm going to go to this previous frame and you can see there's a pretty big discrepancy in the speed at which this head comes down. We have a slowdown and then a, an acceleration. So I'm going to kind of just pull this back a little bit to kind of smooth that shape out as well. And so now we get uh, something that I think feels or should feel smoother than as he's coming into his final pose. So just smooth those curves out. Again, we could we could go in here and see, you know, do I really even need uh, this viscous bezier? Let me go in here and just switch that back over to, to bezier. Yeah, so we could play with this a little bit. But I think I'm going to leave it as is. And then just kind of want to see where this key is. I'm going to compare it to the final key, which was not in the selection range. So I'm going to change my selection range here. And let's just see how this ends. So even this key here kind of really overshoots. I probably want to get it kind of smoothing out like this. All right, now let's turn off those trajectories and uh, see if this head wobble kind of settles down. Yeah. So now we get this kind of nice jostle in the core of the body, but the extremity of that head is not uh, doing that same odd kind of behavior. The only thing I need to really fix here is I haven't even looked at this right arm yet. We get some major clipping in here. So this animation still needs refining, but just a little tip on using the relative pivot mode to smooth out your motions.